Now that we've got our hall road made, uh, what I want to do now is make just a quick, really easy template to kind of show you how quick this goes. And um, uh, I'll make this a new one and we'll do it real quick. And um, what I want to do is some grades. Um, I want to do uh, minus 2% and uh, oop, one thing, two, and let's delete all that. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to do a 20 foot road. So we're going to go uh, 10 feet either side. And uh, let's go edge of hall road, just so uh, edge of pavement stuff doesn't get confused with it. And we have our paving section. And let's just, just do a two to one cut to fill. Um, that'll just make it simpler. And for a hall road, that's probably just fine. Okay, we've got our cut and fill, and then we're going to save that, and we're going to exit. And then what I want to do is go back to my profile, and um, uh, let's go to the editor. Let's open up Hall Row 1. So if, if I'm in existing, it will allow me to just open that up and edit it. Um, and if I made it in the new uh, tab, it would ask me if I wanted to overwrite it. And what I can do here is I can actually show a quick section so I can see my cut fills. Um, if I do my hall road template, I'll open that and say OK. Then it brings up the window for the hall road template. And what I can do is at the same time I'm kind of working through this, I can see sort of the cuts and fills of that template um, to give me an idea of how things look. Now you can see. Um, there's there's kind of a road here. This is uh, uh, the already previously made um, uh, a kind of hall road and, and access road that uh, is going to be for utilities later. And you can see uh, the total amount of, of earthwork that's got to happen. We've got our slopes. So there's a lot of information here that's going to tell me uh, exactly what I can do. Now there's some areas where it doesn't show me my end area cuts and fills uh, just because there's some gaps that kind of connected these dots with um, uh, missing existing ground. We've got to go out and fly a topo so we can get that finished up. It's it's probably close enough but but it doesn't show ground directly underneath it so that's why you won't see it shown there. But when you're happy with this you could actually make it um, uh, make changes and adjust the yardage in case you wanted to really get it to balance or something like that. Just another little feature that really helps you out. So we've got this thing made and let's exit out of that and let's just drop this little road uh, uh, down on the screen so we can have it as part of the model. Okay, so to do that, um, let's just go down to the uh, road section and process a road design. Now it's only got one of everything so uh, Hall Road 1 is is here and what I want to do if there's something resembling an existing surface I've only got uh, my proposed in this area so I'm just going to take and use that just so it can use it to to cut and fill to. Um, and we can also output design sections um, if we want to. Um, that way there will be um, uh, section files that we could do if we wanted to, but um, really not a big deal uh, because we'll have uh, kind of what we need. So we'll say OK to that. And um, here's my processing options. Um, again, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. This is a really feature rich dialog box. So um, it's really important to, um, uh, to make sure you get these all filled out right. Um, I'm just going to do this to show you quickly. Um, normally I would merge it with the existing ground, but uh, I just don't have good existing ground. And you would get um, a little road that would, uh, again, we have tie problems here because we don't have um, existing ground. But there's a quick little road that is now incorporated uh, into the model. Uh, it kind of drew a model of everything else that was around it too. So you've done a quick little haul road, you've got information that's going to incorporate that haul road into uh, a surface and then when you're done using it you've got that finished model to take and incorporate and give yourself uh, a cleanup of what you've got to do to get that back to those uh, haul roads and, and uh, utility access roads you need. Um, any questions please contact me. Always glad to help. I appreciate it.